now um, the main concern that student has uh, a particular uh, set of students would have is basically a um, lot of students do not have great academics or a lot of students do not have great profile as such huh. so one thing that we can address is if they do not have you know x y z or you know those brownie points on their profile what they can do from now onwards huh. Huh. that is number one that we can talk about number two you know how they should be preparing for their personal interview or a group discussion whatsoever like case study and huh. all that. Uh, and as and when we move ahead in the new course, I'll I'll kind of you know shoot a couple of questions at you, and then we can pick them up and move ahead. Sure. Okay. Uh, so before I you know kick off, I want to ask a couple of questions, and maybe they can put it on the chat, and yeah. you know, that'll be helpful. Um, what do you what what do they understand by the word profile? You know, when you're saying that profile, what do they think is profile? What is their understanding of profile? Can they quickly put? Put stuff out there. Yeah, okay. I can. I am also able to see the chat, so that's that's good. Guys, जो भी तुमको लगा profile के बारे में. Just shoot. I mean, there's academic achievements. Uh, what is life till now? Okay, everything we have done in the past. Profile is holistic evaluation. Yeah, what define as academic, personal, work history, extracurriculars. Yeah, tenth, twelfth, and graduation. Hmm. okay so uh, right skills developed till now right so it is not just 10th 12th and graduations uh, graduation so like somebody said out here that it is a holistic mm. a holistic evaluation of your skill your knowledge your attitude and what have you done as in your workplace when you were studying and overall as a person how do you come across okay okay so it is about self if you have worked in the organization then about your work life and about how you have conducted yourself overall as a human being as a person so it is a holistic evaluation so okay. profile is not only about 10th 12th graduation or it's not only about work experience or only mm -hmm. about you know i worked with an ngo so mm -hmm. i am the greatest nothing of that sort it is a combination of everything right. uh, and that's that is what people are looking at so when mm. you go to when you if you have to pick an organization mm. or if you have to pick up a b school to study at what would you look at you are not only going to look at uh, oh do they have great faculty that's enough for me mm. do i have only infrastructure that's enough for me is it mm. only in mumbai or bangalore then that's enough you look at multiple factors right mm. so similarly uh, the institution also looks at an overall package mm -hmm. uh, you may be better at something and not so great in something else but eventually does the whole uh, persona come across mm -hmm. uh, something that that can be groomed and developed and mm -hmm. be put out in the world of work uh, with a little more shine and uh, some more uh, you know skills and the right kind of uh, knowledge out there so therefore you don't i mean uh, to answer uh, you know your question uh, that if they've got if they're not sure that you know if they're not got 90s in their 10th 12th and graduation mm -hmm. uh, should they be mm -hmm. uh, really worried and usually the graphs that i see unless you are you know a merit student throughout uh, mm -hmm. is in, uh, there is a little bit of a dip in 12th um, mm -hmm. and uh, for some reason probably because out of school everybody is a little distracted mm. uh, and then in graduation in the first couple of years uh, you know the wave is a little uh, bumpy uh, yeah. so that's pretty natural uh, but eventually if you have a consistently good record i would say at least a first class uh, throughout uh, and in your uh, 10th and 12th somewhere in your 70s and above that that kind of at least shows that you're not a you're not completely uh, you know lost uh, mm. lost it out on the mm. uh, academic front right so you guys have got it right i mean <clears throat> uh, i'll just have a sip of water once in that's a while okay, sure, so sure, i sure. hope that's fine not a problem not so problem. profile wise when we say we are looking at all these characteristics mm. 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 yeah now what happens because now you know the iim calls have started coming in and you know students are you know those were triple nine like 90 90 90 or 888 and uh, you know we are all started getting calls and we know wherein we have different set of students who are like maybe they're in 70s or 80s they start freaking out ki yaar 10 12 to hum undo nahi kar sakte to fir you know what 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 be school that we should be now going 
and that's the reason these things will come into picture yeah so it's uh, pretty natural that uh, you know if you are going to uh, i mean the call getters from the iams in the initial stages are going to be people who have been consistently good across hmm. so you can i mean imagine if you were that student who did you want to get a call <laughs> wouldn't you want to get a call mm-hmm. <laughs> so it's not really unfair but uh, if you're looking at a a good business school other than the iams probably then you don't really have to freak out so much Mm. uh because it's a overall package and there is a certain even in the iams for that matter a uh, weightage is given to uh, uh academics but mm. it's not uh, only academics it's mm. also a mixed bag uh, over there mm. Mm. <laughs> so i think you should not freak out okay on the academics front but i won't i would also say that don't try to under uh, you know what you call um wait any less because you have spent some time like uh, you know kidan rightly said you can't undo what you have done in the past right, right. so uh, what you can do is whatever you have graduated in mm-hmm. okay make sure that you put that out efficiently uh, during the course of your interview so if you are a fresher i would say that you know go back and revisit as to why did you do that graduation how do you find use for whatever you have done if there is something on those lines then please do share that mm. uh, if you have somebody if you are somebody with experience let's say if you are a student who is an engineer or mm. uh, let's say you are a ba in economics mm. uh, and you have worked somewhere how have you used so even education no education goes waste so mm. even if you have changed your uh, stream you know after mm. doing your engineering you decided that you don't want to work in a typical engineering uh, forefront but you you know you probably want to shift to uh, you probably shifted to advertising or you went and worked for a company uh, which has got nothing to do with the engineering uh, gra- you know qualification mm. that you gathered so i think there is always uh, a reason why you did that so first mm. revisit what was that real reason and then present it in a manner which is palatable so uh, let us say you dis- you figured out that technology was not the only thing or chemistry if you're a be chemistry you know that was not the only thing that you wanted to do but you probably wanted to go beyond that and so you realized that it would be better if you also gathered a management degree and had a combination when you went and uh, you know went into the world of work mm. or if you want to work with a pharma and uh, pharma sector mm. or you wanted to work in the healthcare sector if you have the requisite background and uh, it's what you're only saying is i want that domain knowledge which gives me depth of understanding mm-hmm. and the management education is going to give me the width of understanding so right. uh, t shaped professionals is something exactly. that velinkar constantly talks about so you need depth as well as uh, width so you're mm-hmm. saying i have depth in one particular area and i need a holistic understanding of how businesses function and that is one of the reasons why i want to do management so if you're clear why you want to do it then you can go around and uh, you know write down go about writing down uh, actually why and then uh, kind of uh, brush it up and put it out in the right in the right way perfect i think ma'am just answered half of uh, my mba one answer so guys those who are preparing kindly make a note of it that what uh, you know the institute is looking at 